my topic for today is why in the U.S. do we drive on the right-hand side? And the reason being, if we drive on the left-hand side, who it's windy today. If we drive on the left-hand side, we have uh, head-on collisions and it kills us. Now, really, uh, the history of why, even though we came from England as colonists, we switch and drive on the different side of the road. Originally, I mean, you could probably think of it logically. I don't know if anybody's ever given it a thought, but logically, if you think back to history and traveling along roads, walking and on horseback and things like that, the logical choice would typically be that you would stay to the left just because of the fact most people are right-handed and if you would have to grasp a weapon to defend yourself, your uh, weapon would likely be a sword and it would be in a left-handed sheath and you would draw it across your body and then your sword would end up in your right hand so you would always want your right hand facing your opponent if you came upon them walking on a road or on horseback. Which is another reason why getting on your horse on the left hand side makes a lot of sense too because it protects you from traffic, oncoming traffic. If your horse was over to the left, you would be protected by the animal when you got on the horse. And if you look at it the same way for a motorcycle on those countries to where you drive on the left when you park your motorcycle and get back on it, you're away from traffic and not standing in traffic, which uh, to me is the main logical reason you could probably argue for left-handed versus right-handed. But let's get to the history of the whole thing. And uh, in the United States, the first laws were actually enacted in the late 1700s when there was still a lot of anti-British sentiment and a lot of friendship towards the French who at the time were deciding to drive on the right hand too. And uh, they also were hauling large cargoes with multiple pairs of horses large cargo wagons, and they were driven by Teamsters, which is where we get the Teamsters from cargo hauling truck drivers. They were originally large cargo wagons hauled by teams of horses, and uh, it was all about the cargo and not the comfort of the driver. So instead of building a seat in for the driver to sit on, you've got a nice set of horses there, maybe four or six horses to sit on. You've got six seats available why take up valuable time, effort, and space to uh, provide seating for the operator when he could just sit on one of the horses? Well, if you're sitting on one of the horses, you've got six choices there if you've got six horses. Naturally, you want to be towards the back because you're going to be driving the horses with a whip. So you want to have access to those horses in front of you. You're going to hold a whip in your right hand. And so if you want an ability to reach all of the horses easily with cracking the whip and getting them to uh, go a little bit faster because you're paid most likely by the load so the more loads you get done the faster you go the more you get so you would more naturally want to sit on the backmost left horse to operate the whip and then also that gives you the advantage of other drivers passing you with their cargo on the left hand side you can look down and make sure your wheels don't clip each other and as a matter of fact in the late 1700s Pennsylvania passed the first law about keeping to the right and then in the late 1800s that was followed by New York and New Jersey passing laws keeping to the right in France they had two different reasons the uh, French Revolution caused the aristocrats to uh, want to blend in with the peasants because you didn't want to lose your head and aristocrats were not highly looked at after the French Revolution so they used to drive in their carriages on the left-handed side of the road and the peasants would uh, walk on the right side so as the aristocrats were wanting to uh, 
blend in with the peasants and walk on the right hand side of the road. Everybody was pretty much, once you have the peasants and the aristocrats both on the right, that pretty much puts that idea forward and Napoleon stayed with that idea and some say that also because it was anti-English sentiment obviously and uh, not wanting to do like the English do and he also had to contend with the fact that because he uh, had an extended empire he had soldiers from various cultures and countries and traditions and uh, it would be much better if the soldiers passed each other on the right. They would be less inclined to draw their sword and harass each other or to get into fist fights if their weapon arm was uh, away from the others. Because even soldiers in the same military do uh, tend to want to taunt each other. And then because uh, a lot of the European countries were those conquered by Napoleon, they ended up adopting the driving on the right too and then the, le the rest of them just kind of later on fall in fell into line because if you've got all the countries bordering you driving on the right it just makes it safer for everybody involved with border crossings and as a matter of fact uh, the majority of countries right now do drive on the right Now I got a particular quiz for you. Uh, there is a uh, one place, if you visit the United States property, you will be driving on the left rather than the right. And there is also a place, if you are visiting British property, and I'm not talking about former uh, colonies like Canada and uh, Australia, but there is actual British property to where you will be driving on the right-hand side. So I'll put that out there and see if anybody gets those as a guess. It's interesting, going all the way back to Roman times, they found the Romans, which uh, were basically a military type society. Drove chariots and carts on the left too, and how they determined that was there was a quarry. So obviously as the wagons were going into the quarry they were empty and wouldn't make very much of a rut in the road and then as they were leaving the quarry they would make really deep ruts carrying out all the stones from the quarry they were able to determine that the Romans kept to the left on their roads so anyway a little bit of history of the United States and other countries and what side of the road they drove on